And then I want you to notice how close the end of the, of the cone is. So here we go. And I'm gonna put a little bit of silver solder right here. Hi, I'm Paul Brody. We're back in my shop and we had plans. I had plans to do something on the CR750 Honda, but life goes on. I slipped on the ice and I'm not as mobile as I wanted to be. So we have Thomas here. He's a friend of mine and he's building some frames. He's on frame number five. His brazing is okay, but he's he needs help in the silver solder, he tells me. So I have a tube here, has some holes in it. We're going to have a little practice. This is sort of takes me back to frame building 101 when I was showing the students there what to do and I would give them feedback. So that's something that we haven't done so far in the videos, me showing someone and giving feedback. So I thought that we'd take this opportunity because he's at that stage of his frames where he needs to put on a bunch of brazons with silver solder. So we're going to do that. So welcome to the shop. This is Silver Solar 101. I got my belt sander here. This is a brazon. This is a water bottle brazon. We've drilled some one quarter inch holes here. So those go in there. What I'm going to do now is to take off the burrs, okay? Using the belt sander. So just uh, have it out of 45. Okay, that's ready for flux now. Here's the silver solder that I'm using. This is the 56%. You can also use 45. And what really helps is to take a bit of sandpaper. I think this is 180. And if you take off the outside coating, just if you take off the shine of the silver solder, that really helps it to flow. So highly recommended. And that's, that's all you need to do, just like that. Here's the flux. It's from the Gas Flux Company. This is a Type U. And we mix it up a little bit. So on these brazons, you don't want to get any flux down the thread because it's very hard to get out. Put the brazon in, like that. And then I put a little bit of flux all around. I'm not getting it really on the top at all. Just all around the side. So here's my heat sink. It's made out of an old coping saw. You can see how there's been some weights added on. There's a little central section. So that's a heat sink. And it keeps the braze on level. So we're going to fire up the torch now. I got a Victor, Victor torch here, a J24. It's got a zero tip, pretty small. Uh, I've recommended that in other brazing videos we have. So this will be, I guess, our, our third brazing video, a silver solar video. So we always light the acetylene first and, and then we add the oxygen. So we'll do that. And what I wanted to tell you is that on the, on the cone, there are, are, are three things I used to tell my students in Frame Building 101 that you always have to remember when you're working with a torch. One is the size of the cone. Another is the angle of the cone and the distance of the cone away from the workpiece. So first we'll get it lit. So I switch it on a little bit. Oh, there's a nice little flame. So you want to open it up until most of the smoke goes away. That's a good starting place. There's the cone. It's up to there. And that's excess there. That's, that's a carburizing flame. So close down. You can see better now. So we're going we're gonna to close it down even more. We want a really small flame. So when I'm silver soldering, and actually I, I'm not happy with the cone. I, I need a very small file. Okay, so if you look at the tip, 
See this little orange bit there? That's a bit of, of carbon which is on the on the tip. And, and, and the cone itself is not very sharp, so you can do this. And that should make a sharper cone. I know some people probably think that's terrible, but that really works. So there, it's not as sharp as I want, but let's see what happens. It's got a little bit of a shadow there, so I'll show Okay, now the cone's a little bit sharper. So I put a little bit of heat into the heat sink. And then I want you to notice how close the end of the of the cone is. So here we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of silver solder right here. There we go. I've got a little silver solder right there. It just wicked around it. So I'll go around the other side now. On the other side. Oops. So I've got the cone really close, don't I? There we go. Okay. So that's basically what a silver solder looks like. Okay. What I want to show you is the heat stain or lack of the heat. You can see a, a tiny little, little bit of blue there, but there's no heat stain coming down here because I purposefully kept the heat as small and or as little as possible. So we've got a little bit of silver solder going around. It's flowed nicely. So it's Thomas's turn now. He's going to he's going to do a silver solder around here and then I'll see if I can help him. Okay, so let's do let, let's do the middle. Oh yeah, so I don't need to put much heat on the heat sink because you already got it. I might have cooled down a bit. You can put a little bit of heat on the heat sink. Then you get a blob here, work it around, and then come over no, to the No, I, I would put a blob over here, a very yeah. small one, and yeah. you want to hold the cone almost touching. Mm -hmm. Have this up close. Don't have it down here and then have to move it all the way up there. Have it close, mm -hmm. and then we're going to switch sides, and then you put a blob over here. But I'm melting the first blob before I move over to the second one, right? That's that's what I would do. Cool. Each frame builder has their own way of doing things, but this is this is what I would do. All right. Okay. No, I'm in there. Okay, so that's heated up. Oh, okay, you on your torch. I would I would have less of an ant. You you've got the torch up like that. Yeah. I would have it more down like that. Okay. So the torch is flatter. That's hot there. Yeah, but see, okay, how far away is the cone? How far away was the cone? Uh, not far. Well, it was about half an inch away. That's what yeah? I saw. Okay. You, you want it so the cone is basically touching. When the cone is back like that, it spreads the heat over a much larger area. You mm. want to focus the cone right where you want to put the silver solar. So get the cone in very, very close. Okay. I'm going in. See, I can, you, you've got at least a quarter inch there. You, you need to get your cone closer. So that, I, that to me feels super close. And I can see that's it. That's fine. That, that's not even close enough. Really, eh? Okay, so, so okay, see what happened there? Squeak. You got, well, you got, but you got kind of a blob. It, it did kind of settle down, but, okay, mm. see, well, okay, mine comes out a bit there, but most of mine is in really close. Yeah. Yours is already out to here. Mm -hmm. So it's out quite a bit. So what you want to do now is to melt it in, flow it so that you have a nice uh, a, a fillet that, wraps around the braze on. Yeah, look how much how much more spread out mine is than yours. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this one here now. Okay, so what what we want to do is to 
is to get the heat on there and it's quite fast how fast it comes up to heat and then adding the silver solder and then you're out of there. It's not like brazing where everything can kind of happen and it's kind of arty and flowing and you can take your time. There is a time constraint in a sense with the silver solder because especially when you're working on, on thin tubing, this is probably like 0.6, something like that. Maybe 0.7, I don't know. Okay, let's see what you got here. That's good. Okay, that's that's that was better. You were in there and you didn't hang around a long time. Keep it straight, keep it close. Okay, I think I need to get the sides a bit better. You can still hold the cone a little closer. Okay. You're kind of a little far away there. And I think I'm still using like at least a third more of the solder than you do when you do it. Okay, so you can you can see how how far this spread, can't you? Yeah. It spread way up there. So what that means is still too far away. Well, the silver solder, it's it's pretty stupid stuff. It just goes where the heat is. If the tube is hot there, it just flows. It has no mind of its own. So what that means is that you got that tube a little bit too hot there. Okay. Anyway, there's no huge blobs hanging down, so that's good. So you're going to do one on your own frame? Yeah, let's do it. Here is Thomas's frame. He's got a, a couple of features here. Not sure about these, but that's individual preference. This is a seat stay that wraps around to give clearance for the tire. We've got a yoke down here to give the clearance for at the tire again and the chain rings and sliding dropouts. You can see the brazing here. It's had some filing on it. It's acceptable. Frame number five. I don't think my brush strokes are quite as dignified as Paul's are though. Yeah, that's a that's a fair size blob there. I could have positioned that a bit better, but yeah, I think it was good, except for I got the torch iron on the backside. All right. Okay. I think it's getting a bit better. Yeah, I just gotta, there's a one place where I let my, my torch go a little bit and wasted some silver. And you might want a little bit more silver right down here. It doesn't, it looks like you could use a little bit larger fillet in the silver, just a little bit. Keep that torch, night, that cone nice and close. Okay. All right. See if you can get it so that there's nothing anywhere. So the silver doesn't really flow out yeah. much at all. Just yeah. Okay, you got a big, big ball on the end there. That's a little big. Yeah, you need to heat up, up the metal. Oh yeah, you can, well. Yeah, that one was. That, that was a big ball you had on there. So you needed to heat up the metal first and you don't need to add any more metal. If you can flow that all around, but you, you got lots. Yeah. You got lots on there, way too much. 
Okay, so you, you're basically saving it there by running it all around. Okay, so let's do one more here. Let's see if you can make, yeah. th make that last one good. So on that last one, you were holding holding the rod in there, the, uh, the silver solder in there, and you were heating up the end, and it got a blob on it. So you want to not get the silver solder in there so early. Mm -hmm. Heat the metal more, a little bit more, and then, then get the silver solder in and have the end of the cone focused on the silver solder so that it melts right away okay. onto the metal, onto the tubing and the braze on. Uh, <laughs> keep it close. Wait till the heat is nice. You got lots of heat on that on the fixture so it's just okay that one I didn't get a ball but it wet out pretty quick and nicely there we go Yeah, still not quite what yours look like, but that one is... Okay, see there's a little bit of, of, of black there? Mm -hmm. That shows that, that the flux got overheated. So it, it's telling you something. You had a, a little bit too much heat on the tube there. It's not... I mean, it still flowed around and it's fine, but that's, that's telling you that the flux got overheated. Okay, we're going to move on to the next style of braze on, get some practice. Okay, what's going on now is that Thomas is, is going to braze, is going to silver solder on the, on the braze ons for his cables. So first we have to mark where they're going to go. So roughly if you put a circle about where they're going to go, and then, then you're going to sand it with some emery. And then we're going to use this piece of aluminum here so that we can make a mark right up the side of the tube so that we know that all the brazons are in line with themselves and then we can put them on well i'll show i'll give him some instruction on how to silver solder on one of these cable brazons okay so one way you can do this is to do it like this see how i've got the ruler it's on both tubes mm. and i bring it up like that Where's the felt pad? Actually, you can mark it. Why, why don't you mark the middle of the brazon? Here, we'll go down here. Yeah. Mark, mark the middle of the brazon. There we go. Let's do the other side as well. So we're just about right, right there. Okay, mark, mark the middle. And then, then we'll see what it looks like. Because you can always come out out the same amount from both sides. Yeah, that's great. And the reason for doing that is like if, if you do some, that's not hot, up here, like in the same way, if you're sprinting and your knees come up here, this isn't out any farther than the tube. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's why I do it that way sometimes. I like it. Good, you're taking off most of the flux off the brush now. Learning. Yeah, just hold that down and just go all around. Now it's okay to be a little sloppy with that, with that brush. It takes a long time to set up these brazons sometimes. It's not something that you just put on unless you've got a dedicated fixture that's meant for holding one particular braze on looks good 
Okay, so it's the same thing. You want to get heat on the very end of the brazon, and the brazon is going to take a lot more heat than the actual tube. And then you, you'll, you're going to flow it in, and then you flow it in on the other end, and then you, you come around on the sides. So are you putting heat on the front and the back? And then flow it in and then do the sides. Like yeah, yeah, but it's just one end at a time. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna heat up the braze on and, and keep the heat off the tube quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Gotta get the cone closer. Get the cone right close and then get it right down in the corner. I can I can see, see I can see a gap and hold the torch more level. Okay, that worked out pretty darn well. Okay, melt some soap salt in there. See, it's hot enough, I can see it melt. Yeah, there you go, you just didn't have the... Yeah, I didn't have the angle, the dangle, right. I think I just gotta get this back part a little bit. Yeah, I can see how the flux got a little bit black on this side. Okay, you basically, that's not gonna come off. Yeah, that's a good little fillet there. All right, so three things you have to remember, silver soldering and brazing, size of the cone, the distance of the cone, and the angle of the cone. So if you get those those three things right and you have a little bit of hand-eye coordination, hopefully it can go well for you. So thank you, Thomas, for being the guinea pig here and, and showing us how you are learning your silver, silver soldering skills. Thank you, Mitch, for filming. This was a, a little bit of an experiment. We've, we've never done anything quite like this before. So let us know if you like the format and maybe we can do something else along these lines. So take care. Mitch and I like coffee. Give us a coffee if you feel like it. See you next time.